Welcome back in. Well, it's never a dull moment here on W211 your day and as of late I've been vacuum packed, stuck in a bubble and nearly blown up, but it's all in good fun. And it's all done with safety in mind. What will today's imagination station bring? Jamie Pafford is here and let's find out. Jamie, let's dive right into it. What do you have for us this morning? Well, talking about safety, I was thinking, you know, about firefighters, things that they come um, into mm -hmm. grips with on an everyday basis. Sometimes they go into fires and usually we think that they fight the flames that we see. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't take into consideration maybe the things that are present that we're not seeing, like those invisible vapors. So, um, for instance, what, what do you have in your garage? You probably have... I have a can what? of gasoline that I put in the lawnmower. Right. I have uh, some uh, paint thinner that I use to kind of clean, so some stuff that probably releases some dangerous vapors. Very, very true. Like paint thinner, gasoline, kerosene, all of those things that you mentioned. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have you um, start a little light source for us in this okay. flask here. And I brought out a, a clear liquid. Now, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's, you know, I know that it's flam flammable and I know that it's heavier than air. So the cool thing that I'm going to do with it is I'm actually going to pour the vapor down into our flask. So it's not going to be the liquid that goes in there, but that's what's dangerous. When those firefighters go in there, they're coming into different um, areas uh, with those vapors. So let's okay. take a look at this. Now, you guys can see I'm going to pour it in there, but we don't see anything happening. That's what's scary about it, thing. right? It's just those vapors that are being poured down into the flask. We can get no. them. <laughs> Very scary though, right? You didn't see yep. anything happening. You want to see it again? Yeah, I kind of do actually. Okay. Very cool. All right. The so. invisible magic. All right. And then are you going to tell us what's in there or is it still part of the secret? It's still part of the secret, okay. but it's definitely something that you could find within okay. your home. I mean, it's it's dangerous. That's what's scary yes. about it is these are items, organic um, materials that are in your home. So once again, nothing, you can really see anything. Again, the imagination. See it flicker a little bit. There it goes. Very cool. Pretty cool, right? Yes. All right. Moving on then. Next step. All right. Next step is, uh, well, we know that you have had close encounters with flames quite often with us. So yes. I'm going to actually blow that one out. So what I've brought, of course, in a very controlled atmosphere is I'm going to have you hand me that over there. We talked about those gases that may be in your home, like gasoline, paint thinner. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people have natural gas stove, too, mm -hmm. um, and that is about 99% methane. So I brought in some methane gas for us, okay. and I'm actually going to start putting it in here. While I build up some bubbles in our soap solution, I'm going to have you get your hand wet. Okay. Um, you kind of want to go up your arm a little bit. Because what that water is going to do is going to help protect your skin. So while you're doing that, I'm going to kind of show this first. That lighter that you had, I'm going to steal back from you for okay. a second. I'll hand that to you. Okay. And now while you stand there stopping what for one second, I'm going to light this one so we can see. See, we can see what you're going to encounter. Okay. okay. So count down from three, three two, two, one. one. Very cool, right? Lighter than air, flame yes. moved upwards. Flame moved up. That Our, was methane gas, correct? It was methane okay. gas, right? Escapes upwards. Now this time, we're going to actually have you pick up those bubbles in your hand. Okay. Okay. So, do this again here. I'm going to try to get a lot because the more the better, right? The more the better, sure. Unless you're the one holding them, right? <laughs> sure. All right, once There's again. a huge bubble on top. Bubbles lighter than air are going to... Okay, so you want me to grab, grab a whole handful? Yep, as many as you can. You're going to want to use that hand because bubbles oh, don't that, like dry right. hands. They like that water. Well, let's get you some more because okay. that's going to be... We want it to escape upwards in the most amount that we can actually capture. So, very scary though for those firefighters going in there thinking of the overhead fumes. Okay, All how's right. that? Perfect. Now I'm going to have you stick your hand outwards. We're going to count down. You ready? I think I so. I promise it's very controlled okay. and very safe for you. All righty. You ready? Three, Three two, two, one. one. Yes. Is that cool? That was pretty cool. How does it your hand feel? It feels fine. Yeah, because that water actually helps um, insulate your hand. If I wanted to hurt you, though, I don't want to, but if I wanted to hurt you, I would actually have to uh, warm that water on your hand to 212 okay. degrees and then convert it into steam. And by that time, my flame would be, or my vapors would be up in the air and gone. So. All right, a little lesson today in science and how that all comes together with sure. the gases and how they could be flammable. All right, we appreciate that time. And you guys are going to be actually closed till the 24th of this month. Just kind of doing some uh, cleanup and remodeling, but you're ready for students back on the 25th, correct? Yes, that's absolutely right. All right, sounds good. Appreciate your time. When